Welcome to the Agent From Within podcast, the only podcast that's here to develop the real estate agent as a human being, to help you get out of your own way, to actually align yourself to what you really want in your life and then build a real estate business around that. We have to focus on the person behind the strategies. Yes, this is gonna be filled with tactics, business advice, amazing interviews, but if you're not in the right place mentally and emotionally, you will self-sabotage your business, you will chase, you will compare. This is about creating the best race car driver, not just the best race car. Any race car driver can jump into any car and win the race. We need to develop you as a human being. This is the only place that real estate agents can actually focus on growing yourself and growing your business. Cheers. Guys, raise your hand if you're doing feedback for your listings. And I know some people, okay, Heather's doing it. Jen, okay. So here's the thing, guys. This is one of the most powerful tools to sell when you're pricing a home and getting them to choose you because you can create a lot of contrast against the other real estate agents. The contrast comes to when you start talking about why you do the marketing, not that you do it. This is like very important. So I'm going to share my screen. You guys see that? Good. So here's the deal guys. Um, Let me just jump here. Okay. This is the feedback system. This is what I sit down and I say, okay guys, I want to, so I'm going to just actually sell this to you the same way I'd sell presenting it. Okay. I'd say this. Well, the one thing that we do in our business is feedback because the one thing I knew that when I was a real estate investor and I was buying a lot of properties, when I dealt with real estate agents and if I ever listed something, it was always the biggest annoyance was when I had to phone call someone and say, Hey, how's my listing going? And you know what, at the end of the day, that's the last thing I want you to be doing with me. So we've come up with a system that is, that, that works really well to communicate with you during the listing. So every single time a real estate agent will show your home within 24 hours after you're getting a full written report on, on your email. Now here's the thing guys, the problem is uh, uh, there are some real estate agents doing it out there like this, but this is the difference. I've even tested this against some of the people that when they call me, they say, Hey Ben, how was the showing that you did? And I kind of play with them a little bit. What I say is, I'm going to jump back to full screen now. You guys can get the point. What I say is, I say, you know what? I said, when, when someone calls me for feedback, which is probably 10% of the time, like you guys can all agree. Like if you have listings, how many people actually call for feedback? The truth is what they're saying in the listing presentation is not converting to actually what I'm hearing when I do showings. Because what's happening is if they do call me, what I do say is, nope, it wasn't for me. And they go, thank you. And they hang up. And I say, wow, what feedback did they just get? This is literally me, how I'm selling. Like you're, if you come behind me and don't have a feedback system, I win. If you come behind me and say, I have an automated email system. Cause I say, look, a lot of guys will have an automatic email system that says, Hey, I say, I delete those. If I show 10 or 12 houses, I got 12 emails to go through. There's no way I'm doing it. But if they call me, I'll tell them exactly how to sell their house. So the 24 hours is cool. I said less weekends because I want my team to have weekends off. So you'll get all the updates on Monday. But now remember this line guys. If you, when you're, when, if someone says, someone comes to you, like I'm talking to the seller right now, I say, if someone, a real estate agent, they're busy, they might not remember something, but the only reason I need to know how to navigate your sale is through these feedback. I need to know the feedback. How do I navigate the sale? I'm just going to call you in three months and tell you to lower your price. Do you understand? I hit a psychological point there. Hopefully that happened to them. Then I say, if someone calls me and says it wasn't for me, I've come up with architected a question. The question is this, hypothetically, if you were to make an offer, what would have had to change? I said, by asking the right question during feedback, you're going to get the exact objection. Now let's play this along. Now they say, you know what? It's just the paint color. I said, I even tell the listing guy, I said, look, it's probably a stupid thing, but let's just say they hated the paint color. Guess what? Sales 101, find the problem, solve the problem, make the sale. When you can simplify sales into one line, you will look like a genius because it is a level of genius when you can simplify something. And if you understand that we're doing feedback to find the problem, solve the problem, make the sale. When anyone does feedback and you don't give them the objection or the problem, they have no clue why they're even doing it. 
They just say, yep, did feedback. Yep, did feedback. And they're checking the box. But if you know why you're doing feedback, it's really important because I want to navigate the sale for you. Because we're going to need to know if everyone says it's 10 grand too high, guess what, guys? It's clear. But what if everyone says paint, 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 paint? At least I can come up with a solution and say, hey, will you paint the place? I can maybe get an offer. I'm showing you salesmanship, professional communication, tying to psychological triggers. I'm creating massive contrast to anyone that can't present their feedback as good as me. So I'll come up with it, with it now. Guess who does my feedback? Not me. I just trained the one girl. Now, guys, I have a challenge for you. Can you people are like, oh, I can't afford an assistant. Can't afford an assistant. Do you know how much my feedback system costs? $15 a day. Hire someone for $15 an hour to do that once a day. Do you know how many single moms would love to have that evening work? And then you're doing something good. Are you kidding me? How many people just, can you run my feedback? Then you can market your business and say, I've got a feedback manager. How cool is that for image? So when you can actually create that image that you've got a bigger business, that you're systemized, that you're smart, it's very good. So that's the feedback system. That's one of our things. That's like our secret weapon when we come back to it because no one can present it as good as me. I'm showing you guys how to present feedback because you're they're going to go, wow, this guy understands sales. And I say a lot of guys are a little bit embarrassed to be salesmen, but this is a sales job. This is called selling houses. And you got to know how to find the objection, solve the objection, and okay, we got a sale. So then there's you at that moment, you just watch these people just go, this guy's amazing. Like it just happens like that. You've probably done the same thing. Hey, Justin, you, you actually, Justin had a full recording of me fully presenting my uh, CMA. And I think you listened to it like a hundred times, right? Well, one of the things I find, I, I just used it last night, actually, that's also really helpful with the feedback system is, yeah, it looks like you're on top of things. But one of the other things too, is that you're, you're, you're being transparent about what the actual feedback is. You're no longer the bad guy going to your seller being like, your house stinks or, you know, they, they hate the train in the backyard. It's, it's literally, this is what the agents are saying about your home. You know, it's not me, you know, you, as an agent, you should already identify yeah. problems that people are going to run into, but you're just, you know, it, it takes you away from being the bad guy. And on, on that note though, it's all of that depends on who you're dealing with. Every bit of everyone that has an opinion, it's right. You're right, Justin. But if I'm talking to someone that is so like it does, it depends on who you're dealing with. You have to tailor yourself. This is where you'll dominate in any business and in relationships you'll connect is understand who you're talking to. Because if there's, if the, cause they might not want that full truth and they, they don't. Well, yeah, you have to you see, have to, you see, to they might, you might have to soften it a little bit depending on who they are. Maybe it's a little old lady and she's got beautiful flowers and you gotta be sensitive and empathetic. Like it really is about understanding people. It's not tactic. It's truly understanding people. And so every single bit of advice is this. This is how Ben does it. Do it your way. I'm not the guy saying, I've got the mission. You just follow me and you'll be rich. Barf. I'm saying, change your thinking. I'm going to show you how I do it. Be inspired. Take action and build your own thing. Like Justin's built his own thing, but has a lot of different, a lot of similarities. And like, uh, who else is here? Tony. Tony's on. Yeah, Tony, she's been working for years. And they got Corey on there. And these guys are, these guys mold into their own business with these fundamentals. That's why I'm a bit different than other guys.